Hello everyone, it's Janet Smith, and I wanted to come on really quickly just to show you how to create your branded videos where you can add your logo into your Facebook videos. I'm down here in the corner, in the bottom right hand corner. Hi, <laughs> I'm going to go into Facebook and I'm going to op um, I'm going to open up the Facebook Creator Studio. And this is, of course, with the idea that you already have your transparent logos saved on your computer. So, um, I'm sorry, that's not where I need to go. I'm going to go up here. <laughs> so, it's facebook.com forward slash FB camera effects forward slash manage. <laughs> And that will take you to the camera effects. Um, hit enter so that we can go there. And you'll, you'll see these two options that pop up. We're going to open up the Frame Studio right here. So hopefully you will be able to follow this tutorial step by step so that you can get your icon created. And as you see on this page here, I have several different ones that I've created. Some are active, some are inactive, some are disabled, and some are approved. I cannot give you the details on what the requirements are for Facebook to approve or disapprove because I don't know the rhyme or reason, and I'm sure it's probably written somewhere. I've not read, I've not read that. <laughs> So I'm going to show you just quickly how to submit a request, basically, to have it approved. And in the interim, while you're waiting for it to be approved, you can actually use it the same day. So like this, first, this on the top right here, it shows that this is in review, and I've already used that uh, today. So when you come to this page, you're going to be under either Home or Manage, but you want to be under Manage. And you're going to click on open frame studio in the right hand corner over here and um, on this create a frame window that pops up you want to click on facebook camera you have the option to add graphics into your profile pictures if you want you can do that as well but this is about the facebook camera uh, logo that we're going to so once you click on that, you want to click on Upload Art and then search for the um, <clears throat> transparent logo that you have. And I have it under Logos here. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to, this is my company logo. And you can move it anywhere you want to move it on the screen. You can make it larger if you want. Um, but depending upon where you move it, the screen is going to give you some guidelines to know if it's going to be optimized. So personally, I like to put mine at 1010 in the corner. And uh, this big box right here shows you where it's going to be located on your desktop. This right here shows you where it's going to be located on your phone. And this bottom one right here shows where it's going to be located on your phone when you turn it into the landscape mode. <clears throat> so you can actually upload multiple pieces of artwork. And I'm going to upload another one here. Um, let's go back. I want to upload the, the white one. And um, whenever you upload your art, if you have to adjust it for the size necessary, you can freely do that. And I'm going to put this one at 1010 as well, same place as the top, but on the opposite end. So when you scroll over on the um, mobile side, you'll see what it looks like in portrait mode. And on the bottom, you'll see what it looks like in landscape mode. So if you wanted to make this, like I said, bigger, you can definitely do that. And it's going to cover up the bottom section of your, of your computer screen in this picture right here. Or on your phone, it's going to cover up the bottom section of your phone. 
And over on this side in the landscape mode, it's going to cover up the bottom section of your phone right there as well. So those are your three options. And what you can do after that, you really don't need to update or adjust any of the actions over here. So just click next and you want to give it a name. You can just call it um, anything you want. You can call it logo art or business. If I can spell it right. <laughs> For business and I'm just going to say 300 dandelion seeds because that's the name of my, my branded business and I want it to be available only in a specific location where is that location I want it to be available in um, the United States so I'm going to type in United States. That's where it's available. Scroll down a little bit more and under your schedule, you can make it active right away or you can set a start and end date. I want it to be available right away. And the keywords here, I'm going to just say logo. And um, sometimes it'll populate a smart word. Sometimes it's smart, sometimes not. <laughs> and um, you can put in any keywords that you want. I'm just going to type in logo and I'm going to type in 300 dandelion seeds. You don't have to put in keywords if you don't want to. And click next. <clears throat> so after that, it's going to ask you if you're ready to publish. We're going to go ahead and publish. You're going to get a pop up that says, once you submit your frame, you won't be able to change the frame name or the owner. Okay, I'm good with that. <laughs> we don't want to change it and it will publish your effect. Then it's gonna give you a little sample um, view of what it will look like when you're doing a video. So your frame has been published and it's gonna soon be available for people to use in this Facebook camera app. Um, so how do I find my frame? So if you go to, if you go to your Facebook, um, Let's just go to your Facebook page. You can go to your Facebook page and use it on your phone. So we're gonna click done here and you'll see it at the top of your list and it's going to be in review. Um, so hopefully this helps and you'll be able to set up your logo on your phone when you're going live in your business pages. Um, I'm not sure if this will work on your desktop, but it will definitely work on your phone. And let's just do a quick little test. Let's do a quick little test and go over here to Facebook once again. And I'm going to go to my business page. And then um, actually this will probably be competing with the camera if I do this. If I try to do a, a live video, um, it may compete with my camera. <laughs> you only learn after testing, right? So, um, accessing my camera is what it says, but it can't access my camera. Okay, so that makes sense. So you can't do the, I can't do it while I'm, um, doing this tutorial recording for you but i will record it on my phone and show you what it looks like thanks for watching hope this helps <laughs> bye